These are some Dinar Guru updates, starting off with Militiaman. Now that we are at the political crossroad with the GOI, let's see if that red light of the politics gets sorted while we wait for that green light of the next IQD exchange rate to go live. There comes a time when the system will require the CBI to make an independent move and interconnect with the region and the world, and that move, in my opinion, may precede the politics if need be. We shall see, though. They didn't get this far to stop the bus. They have it fueled and fully tuned and ready to reel, in my opinion. Time is short from viewpoint. All right, Mark Z via PDK says, I am still being told that the expectation is full-blown numbers for us between the 4th and the 6th, possibly starting as early as Sunday night. This is what I am still hearing. All right, Petra uh, post part one of two. The world is going through change, a bigger picture that will require Iraq to reinstate their currency. Uh, Putin is demanding all transactions now to be in rubles. Putin has also as asset backed as currency with gold. So what is happening? The fiat system, as we know it today, is being threatened to drive other currencies in the world to follow suit. Russia has a strategy, oil and gold. What is Iraq rich in oil and gold? My point being, they cannot stand on the sidelines too much longer and not get lost in the global economics of change occurring now. My second part of Petra Post says, so sit tight, the GOI does not make the RI decisions. Bad actors in Parliament will force outside entities to push the CBI to move forward, in my opinion. Uh, they're working and getting things done. In summation, relax. It may not be in Iraq's hands much longer because the world is talking. It truly is a circus, but the true thinkers in Iraq are not getting lost in that craziness. They know what is important, and they are preparing all steps to make sure they're ready when the CBI pulls the trigger. All right, Pimpy article quote, the Sadrist. Sadrus movement enters a state of media silence throughout the month of Ramadan. We probably won't hear anything from Sadr during this time. That's probably why he gave them, a Maliki and his framework political block, 40 days to do something about it. We're obviously still stuck on figuring out how this government can be formed and who's going to be responsible for forming it. All right, Sandy Ingram, ABC News article, Iraq. Cleric steps back, asks rivals to try to form government. This information came out on Friday and is all over the internet. For a third time, Parliament was not able to form a government. The Iran-backed politicians did not show up to vote for a new Iraqi president who would then facilitate the nomination and vote for the new prime minister. This is what's happening now. now the clergy who won many of the Parliament's seats says he will be back down for 40 days. In order to give Parliament time to build an Iraqi government, this news story comes to us from ABC News. The theory behind the political boycotts is the Iran-backed politicians do not approve of Kurdistan's candidates for president and for prime minister. All right, and lastly, from Pimpy, uh, this is good news. Article, quote, for adventurous tourists who are unafraid of the occasional military roadblock, the hot new destinations is Iraq. I've seen many videos on YouTube that people are over there and are sightseeing, and that's been a lot of problems, so that's a good thing. Tourism is a big moneymaker for Iraq. Between oil prices going up and tourism increasing, things are looking good for Iraq. This article goes on to say that tourism has increased over there in Iraq, and more and more people are starting to go and visit, and this is a good thing for Iraq.